Okay, so the Ritual recording is started over page Reish Sadi Zion, and it says, Kad milin nafkin min puma. When words start coming out, Kashu yotze be deburim in a pen, shazer an pen, or misrach Hashem misavazim, and his lips are start moving, or starts making sounds. Misrach Hashem of the dovos, his lips are moving, shazer an pen, be'eloch adiburim. Ba'az mekoyach ba'ulas adibur be'pen, shazer an pen, but then to the power of the of the words that are coming out of his mouth, the words themselves, Na'am Pepeh Bechinus Yichud El Yon, of course, is a Yichud El Yon Shel Chech Vigorin of the two different parts of the throat and the palate. The Misyachanim Ayyedach Abeloshin Shabbenehem. Now he's talking here about Zeranpen, which I really thought that was a contrasting. I, uh, uh, this is really referring to Eric Anpen, but here he says it's Zeranpen. So I have to assume they're the same. Vayyedei Kach, because look, in just my question is that, let's see how it goes is this uh, that the question is is in the cranium of Zeranpin you have two separate places side by, i thought they're side by side in the head of uh Chochman bina in eric Anpin, you have Chochman in the palate and you have bina in the uh in the throat but i thought in eric in Zeranpin they're side by side so that's my thinking so let's go on but all your day but the ayy day cas mis the hara me irem eder de burim so then the light the words themselves start to become illuminated but or shefa hayiku shel khekh ve gorim because of the light that comes as a result of this so the words therefore have have a special significance the kuhu timnis re alpin almen to 18000 different universes the kol shmona esre elaf lomos Shehem Shmona Ezra Kulius Asidra, which referred to the 18 different, uh, uh, sections of the spinal cord, uh, Shalzer Anpin, Shehem Hamoshkos, as Shefa Hayicho the Mata, which bring the Shefa downwards, although you sell Shalzer Anpin into his Yisod. So he, which is called by the name, one second, which is called by the name, uh, Chayul Amen. So then, in other words, brings, it brings out life. And then the Yisod itself is there on pin. Instead of it being in the throat, we're now talking about what's going on elsewhere. Uh, and uh, that is down below in his Yisod. Uh, and then, therefore, everything starts coming together. Called Shefah Hashmona Ezra Elif Olam Moshe B'Yisel Zer Anpin until all of the eighteen. What does he say? The Shmona Ezra, one of the eighteen thousand Olam Moshe B'Yisel Zer Anpin, which exist in Zer Anpin as a result, I guess, the flow down the spinal cord. Yachid in B'Yisel the Nukvuk, and that's when that that comes. All this flow that's coming from Zer Anpin is now going to be attached to the Nukna with some Nesar Orchim Meshvilim the Ishmadon. Sheyesh ba, they're also inside of her. Gam came shmona esrei drachim v'shvilim yiduim. There are also eighteen different paths that apparently what's flowing down from this yichud through the spinal cord, uh, it brings it into the nukva. Who has? I'm thinking these paths are like receptacles, or they're bringing to receptacles. So he said drachim shvilim yiduim shebesocha mekabelas anukva shefer shmona esrei elav alamos. So therefore, this brings these eighteen thousand alamos, these hidden board, these hidden, this hidden chef, I guess, that's coming into the yisod, and she has a place for them too, and these drachim and so on and so forth. Ki yichud hechavagarim shall pan zeranpin, and we are talking strictly about zeranpin. Gorim yichud the yisod shall zeran shall zochavano. Now I re- recall seeing this uh, either, either with you, you as well or with just with um, uh, uh, Cronenberg that we went over this uh, the section we went through all this idea but it really wasn't clear to me where they were or how they came from so let's he, here he says stri- strictly speaking about Zeranpin. So all of the upper worlds are waiting for what's going to come out of this mouth. In order to sweeten up the gavuros, and we're over here in the same concept again. I think we lost him. Hello? Back. 
Okay, we got you back again. So here, here on the left column in Reish Ches Tzadik, he says, he says, V'kulu mechakal nepulmado, belishan mamalo ravavim. So he says, All of this comes as a result of the path. Lishan, he says, is Lashon Lashon. He says, He says, And it's called, it caused this tongue, is called the tongue that speaks great things. Why? Because actually, in secret it does, that's, it is does, but it's also, Connected is wants to say he says he aloshon he bechinas a yisod besod the das. Now how does that work? A mezaveg bein a chachman shi haachech bein a abina shi he hagaron va'ayidei zerazivu. Now the question is for me is is that how is it become the yisod becomes like das and das is das. He said the sud the 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 thro- the the tongue is represents das which is machria and he just described that. He said, Haloshan he bibliquitis hayisod hayisod. Right? So it's like the mashpia besod hadas, which is the, the secret of das. What does das do? He says, Mazaveg biglin chokbushu vachei who bang bindish who begor agorum. Why you dega bezera bezivog and then through the ziva bekitruch the teeth ruch of utro. So he said, Kitra means tying. Uvakashrim bachasada shibachech. So he says it ties the chasadim that are in the chayk hanikroim tihura, which are called tihura, which is what? Lushen, what does tihura mean? Uh, I don't know. Here he says it means tihura. Sounds like Lushen tahor. Ima guvur shabagoram hanikroim ultra, ultra. So it's the same word, a very similar word. So we have a tihura and an ultra. The haguvur is mis, so which is Lushen, uh, like, uh, atara, or maybe, let's see, maybe not. So we say that the Gavuras through the Chasadim are now sweetened as a result of the relationship he's saying with the uh with the tongue. While Dog Sivan this is written like this, Hiku Mamatkin, Velo Omar Haku Matoch Haloshan Yachid. So he says Mamatkim the the uh Hiku they are waiting. The Mamatkim the the sweeteners. And he doesn't say it's in plural. So who are the plural? Ela Omer Rabbe Matkim, Veloshen Rabbim, it's in plural. Kivada, because of the Kavana, he, the Kavana is like this. Veloshen Ham Taka, the Achevim is the concept of sweetening it up for others. He says, the Hainu, Shechachosadim, Shebechech, that's what we understand, the Sasadim that are in the palate, Mam Tiki, Mesa Gavur, Shebegarim, Veshoel, and they sweeten up the Gavurs which are in the throat. And ask this question, my hiku, what does it mean by their waiting? My pirish mila hiku. So he said, ha'im ha'inu chech. Is hiku, waiting, this word is, is similar to the word hech itself, which means palate, mamish, kepeshuto, o ha'kavona l'hadavara me'yot se'chopetoch ha'chech. So this word, ma hiku, could it possibly mean it, it refers to speech itself that's coming out, or the words? That are coming out of the chech uh, and the garan are yotzer mitocha chech. They're coming out, and it just says from the chech. Umeishiv chiku, I know chech mamish. It really refers to chech. So then the phrase is ma chiku. So what does chiku mean? This is chech. So he he says kamadat amr. He says like the commotion emberv the chech yitam la echol. So what's chech? Chech puts food puts taste into the food. So let's really talk about the palate. Because the taste comes from the palate. So it plants a uh, 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 taste in. So it put taste into his oichel, umantiko, they sweeten up the food. So he said, the mom should, or bring taste to the food. So now he wants to come along and explain this. Even the gavuras that are in the throat. Now we're saying the gavuras are in the throat. So they're really desirable. So why are they called by, what's, what's so desirable by Gavuros? 
shenimtiku because it's talking about the gavuras and the gavur in in the in the throat that are actually sweetened already. Then they're really something great. So he says ayidei chasadim through the through chasadim that are located in the chayich. Heim kolulos min agor b'chayim they get become one with the gavuras uh, that is the one the gavuras of the chasadim become one shehiba b'chinis eishemayim which are actually are the opposites of one is fire, one is water. As we know, gavuros are eish, but chazanim heim b'chinis mayim are water. But now, but hayichud heich begorim. But now, a yichud takes place. Eish are b'mayim mistaknim. The saknim and the sklalo harosh for eish for b'mayim is a bezesa puts the two of them together. They become a yichud. Yaz a yaan b'tziroi. So therefore, he makes yawn. They're beautiful. Betzirui, and they're mixing. And the fact that they mix, or he said betzirui, he says, "Vaz naasach gavuras yafos benechmadas." They're beautiful. Betzir marechem in the way that they look. They come take on a very beautiful look. As that was the main sir marechem. The whole gavul mischaver kachad gavone shachar recha mischaver yachad shnei gavonim, which are which are white and red. Shehem b'chasad of the gavuros, which represent chasad of the gavuros, the kala yofi who mekoyach at his mazgam shnei chazibuchin love and the edim yachad. So all the, really that you have here is really because of the yichud that's taking place in these two these two colors. The dechen nikvas of gavuros hamis hamis matkos so the hamamutakos. These gavuros that have been sweetened b'shem machamadim, they're really lovely. They're really the desire ones. He aim kolulos b'shnei gavonim yachad. They're very rich. They have these two these two bechinos right and left together, red and white. Now uh, he goes out. Uh, he goes on chiko hachech shel zer anpen. So now we have this word chiko is hek ba'as ba'asvo rishiman besocho inside of the palate. You have besocho osios or rishumos shel kaf base osios, so that there are stamped their letters stamped in the throat. He says uh, excuse me, the palate that uh, told us uh, uh, which are Osia Satara. Ki min ha chech shuhu ha chachma because chech represents chachma I know for sure in Eric Anpin. So here in Zer Anpin he says it represents the same thing. Yotzim mispashnim kol the kof base osios vinitanas al the gorm shuhu habina. So from this place and this chech that's where the 22 letters start to come out. Let me read it again. So I want to focus because before yesterday he said that he was talking about the beard. I thought maybe this went to the same idea where he says that you have uh, 13 coming from Eric Anpin and 9 coming from Zeron Pin. He just threw that in and he said it made 22. So maybe this has something to do with this too because here you see there's 22 letters that are stamped in some way inside of the Heich. The Venetanis of the Gorin and all these twenty two are placed into the Gorin Shuhu Abina. The Mizgang from the Mitrui, behind the Chakakos Mikoy Haloshim, because they're carved out by the by the power of the tongue, uh, of the tongue which is, uh, of course, uh, the uh, Das. Shuhu Sod Hadas, Uncle Lulim Shtegotaros, which is the secret of Das. Which has within it two different crowns or two different, yeah, I guess base crowns, shall chasad and gavuros, which it has two sides to it, which are five chasad and five gavuros, or here it just says chasad and gavuro. Ki yichud techech the gorin, because in order to put the palate together with the throat, na'asa yedech abelashen shuhach yisod, it really happens as a result of the, of the tongue, ha'mezado ges hachech the gorin, which causes that yichud to take place, v'al yedech kakalidin. Now here's an interesting word, galid. Gulidim neglados the neglomos hakafes osius yotzim in a elam elagilui. So he has a little bit of a definition of this word, but he's going to say it again in the next page. So let's go on and try to figure out what gulidim means and 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 niglom means. What are those two words? So he says negdalo the of of the neglomos. Hakaf base osios v'yotzim mina mina elam elagilui. So I think that's really what it means is that they are hidden, and then as a result of this speaking or what's happening in these letters, uh, it actually is comes revealed. 
So he says, how's this? He says, Osius Acha. Let's take the words that come out of the uh, of the Goran. Shimona uh uh Shimoti Habaransam who uh who begarum. So the vibration that come out from them, they come out that's where it starts in the throat. So this is the concept of the, of, of Bina, which is in the Garm. So therefore, since it's full, it's, it's in there, it's in full of Gavuro, so therefore they're coming out from them. He, uh, he ne sowed os al, let's say, for example, Shalacha. Whoops, lost it again. Where are we at? Oh, that time. Okay, back again. All right, so it says, let's say, for example, let's take these sounds that are produced by the uh, by the the throat. He says, um, he says, so where it starts coming out, it starts coming out from the throat. That's where they're loaded, located. Hey, so the gavuro shall bina. This is the secret of the, of the gavuro so bina shabagaron, which is the concept of bina, which is in the throat. So that's where all the bad stuff comes out. Let's say, for example, shall who uh, the the Malkin. So because the, apparently this this Aleph has the ability to be able to bring down king. You send the king to force him to abdicate or whatever. Umahade Malkin. Umesir and also removes osam memamlochtam and also be able to remove them from their kingdom and they would move kings and they're uh, they're out. I don't know what that means exactly. Mahake malkin, umeki malachim mecherim. So in other words, it's able to appoint rulers or the beginnings of uh, the flow of whatever. Zechubemeki malachim mecherim establishes other malachim. V'zechavekoyach shechem minu malachim. So this is the power. Of the appointment of kings, nimshach mina os aleph. All of that, the ability to appoint leadership, comes in the concept of the letter aleph. Now, in other places, he said the letter aleph refers to Eric Anpin, which is really the koach behind the throne, so to speak. So here, he, he's not saying that. Nimshach mina os aleph, reshosha be Eric Anpin. Oh, he did. He is saying that. Sorry. Uh, who's the ultimate king? So the uh, uh, let's go on. So os ches, and now he's going through the ale- the letters. The aleph has the ability to make and and break kings, the beginnings of all things, or whatever they would be. So he said, now comes the letter ches shel acha. He the tarei v'nachis. It goes down. Uh, what does he do? It, it sends away rishayim. It has the ability to battle them. And is able to take them down from their power. And also put other Rishayim or other people will take their places. And crown them at the head. So he says, he says here means fire. He says, so you're able to suppress them. And actually pursue them, uh, uh, not Rodef, but Rodef, bring them down, but Rishayim, but Koyach Esha Gavura, from the power of the file of a Gavura. Golid Barucha, here's the word Golid, uh, or Machazek Beritzono, and also fortifies its will, or, yeah, will, let's say, one second, its will, uh, of the, of the Nashim Mechirim, Tachtechen, to put them in, in other words, it produces competition. This power comes from the letter Ches, parts of Abba, which it really has a root in the concept of Abba. So therefore, it comes from Chachma, and therefore, it has this intazir anpin, and it has the ability to be able to send away bad people. Now let's go to the next letter, Shalachor. So here's another lake who, uh, who, unique in the Ima. So he says, what is this? This is the nursing of Ima. He says, or the Ima, where it's located, its its root is from the light that comes from Ima, Hamanika Shefa, who is also nursing or providing food, 
Nazir Anpin, Benukva, and all the way down the line because she's the old, she's the mother who provides. The first thing is, as we know, this light goes with Nazir Anpin. And then after that, Sater, excuse me, he said, uh, mit, Mitzdanha or on Ma'akem Atzmo. So then the light comes and it twists itself around. Let's add the Ach to the backside of Zer Anpin. Shel Zer Anpin. And that's the first time I said, I saw that it said that, the, that it twists itself around. And Ma'akem, I think it means twisted or crooked, no? So he says, or it changes its direction in some way. Let's add the Ach to the backside of Zer Anpin. Kadei the Venais Bekoich Aguburos, the Ima, in order to be able to build it up. From the power of the Gaburas or an Ima, as the parts of a nook for Omedes Ma'ach Rab Shalzer Anpin, the parts of the nook, which is in a course of bag, in order to build her up. It's Pasha the nook of Rabba. So it goes in Misham, this Pasha, or for what he calls here, or Hagaburos, the Venais Besod Sion for Yerushalayim, to build the, uh, the Malchus and the, and the Yisod of the nook, as a Nekev Agoda, which is the great hole, which is what the Yisod of the nook for. So it, uh, this twists around in such a way that she ultimately has a yisod. Vete uvdecha the current of kedisha. Shecha yisod who makom had the chukets the place of desire. Shecha the nukva ha nikras ha'ir ha'ir ha'kodesh where she is called again. Well, his word ir again. He says she's called the great city. That's where I see her. Here I call the holy city. Kisham is damkin of his kabsim called the gavurs because that's the place. The gathering together of all the uh, all the gavuros or kedushos that are that are holy shall their unpin, meaning those which were sweetened, I guess. The miskatrech asrin the asrin da b'da, by your day kach miskatrech for hamkomos or yudulim shehi for yisodas their unpin for nekeva. So after this, we uh, we want to see that the yisodas of the their unpin and the nekeva come together miskatrech and so and they come together with zivuk. So then you see that these colors now, that is the color of the of, Chach, of Chesed and Gevura come together uh, uh, inside of the Nukva. Because now they switch, the colors switch their side. It says that the white goes into the yisod of the nukva of Adam of all the yisod zeranpin, and then the the red comes into zeranpin. So he becomes the adam and he can say like this: Har hamor. What's har hamor mean? She hamor shuhu ha ha Adam shall ha nukva. So this hamor he says refers to the redness in the nukva. Cholak al yisod zeranpin ha nikra har. It goes to the yisod zeranpin. This is called the concept of this transferring. So he says, is he goes into the Yisod of Zeranpin, and he says, Gibas Halavona, and then it says, the high place of the Lavanon. The Halavona is lush and white. Shuha Halovin Shal Zeranpin refers to the whiteness of Zeranpin. Cholok el Yisod the Nukva. Now it travels over to the Yisod of the Nukva, Hanikra, and the Giva, which is called what? The Giva. Because he all of this developing of all the kavar mushrosh b'oshe, all of this takes place from the letter he shel shame acha shasharsha be'ima, which has a root, a, a root in ima, and that's I guess that's it for today. Thank you. I'm sorry that I wasn't really ready. Call to.